Hi, it's Cassie, artist in residence with Imagine. Today I wanted to make a fun upcycled vase for summertime. Um, I got this probably at, you know, a thrift store or something like that. I like to buy old things and upcycle them and give them some new life. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, I'm putting two layers of white gesso over this entire vase and letting it dry. And later on in the video, um, off video at least, I, I did end up covering the inside where you can see that orange. Uh, and then I have um, napkins. I have napkins of all different sizes and shapes and patterns and I really love to use them on mixed media pieces. So we've got some cool fish today in the nice blue watercolory kind of effect and I just use a wet paintbrush to, to tear them and that works really well on um, tissue paper or napkins or anything like that. So once that white gesso was completely dry, then I can come in with my all-purpose ink. I've got a lighter blue and a really dark blue. And so I'm just putting this light blue all over the, um, the vase here and giving it like a, a nice washed um, watercolor look. And then once that was completely on there, then I'm adding a lot of this darker blue to add some depth and dimension and a little bit more visual interest there. Once that all-purpose ink was completely dry, then you can move on to adding your napkin. And so I'm adding this fish napkin just with on-point glue and a paintbrush. I didn't put any glue underneath this, um, this napkin piece. I'm only putting it over the top and just kind of smushing it in with my paintbrush, but also being kind of gentle too so that we don't rip the napkin because it is very delicate and just went all the way around until it was completely covered. It worked beautifully. And then I had some yellow all-purpose ink and I painted that um, resin flower with that. Re the all-purpose ink can really be used on so many different surfaces. Uh, it really is quite fabulous and it's really highly pigmented and um, you could put it in a spray bottle and spray with it. There's so many ways to use it. So, um, so you should give it a shot. Okay, I took I put that girl on and then I took her right back off because I, I remembered that I wanted to add some fibers to this just to add a little bit different texture and um, visual interest to it. So I took her off, added those fibers, and then now I'm adding her back on. So I've just got a bunch of ephemera sort of mm, paper kind of cardstock pieces here that I'm adding to make my scene um, that flower is a resin flower and uh, I'm using creative medium and clear to stick all of these pieces down. It works really well as an adhesive for all mixed media projects. Um, you could use really any color of creative medium that you have. They will all work the same way. Uh, I'm just using clear here um, in case, you know, it comes out the sides or something. You're not going to have to deal with um, seeing it or wiping it up as much you can get away with a little bit more. Then I have a couple of these little jewels. I really liked that blush pink sort of look. It um, ties back to her hat and then also to this really awesome flamingo that of course had to add to the side. Flamingos are very popular right now and really cool and fun and a beautiful color and I thought it added a little ni nice touch at the end there. So there's my final vase. Uh, imagine adding some beautiful flowers, real or fake, to this. Uh, having it on your table for summer decor. I, th I really like this. And again, you can see that it really didn't take very long to make and it's quite fun. And it's a nice, um, unique piece. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found some inspiration. And for more inspiration, please visit imaginecrafts.com. Thanks.